guys, my name's American Amy. Um, I just found this article, so I wanted to share it with you guys. It's gonna be a sad one. So, um, let's just go ahead and check it out. It happened again just last week in Pennsylvania. So this morning, we're getting a look at this new technology that's aimed at preventing these tragedies before they happen. Hey, ma'am, you okay? Kids and hot cars. The potentially dangerous combination leading to frightening yeah, rescues like this one. Atlanta officers smashing a window to save an infant back in 2019. And another just last month in Las Vegas as officers save a baby from a sweltering car. <laughs> The fact that children are still being killed or injured um, because they get trapped inside the car is a very significant issue. But this morning, Consumer Reports telling GMA its latest vehicle test is a potential game changer. This is the 2022 Genesis GV70, and that alarm, Consumer Reports says, may just save a life. Hidden inside the roof, above the back seat, a radar that Genesis says can detect a child even if the only movement is a soft breath. So you want something that is more fine-tuned and able to detect even those small motions that we're making just by being human, by breathing and our chest moving. Dr. Emily Thomas with Consumer Reports putting the new system to the test with her four-year-old son, Micah. How does it work? Well, Dr. Thomas puts Micah in his car seat, starts the car as if driving away, then turns it off as if she's reached her destination. She gets out, closes the door, and locks it. Okay, so we're going to start the clock right now. So it varies depending on how much movement's in there, but Micah's staying as still as he can. As still as a four-year-old can. <laughs> With Micah inside, staying still, the alarm goes off. 20 seconds. Even with the mask on, it detects him in 20 seconds. Genesis says times can vary, but typically it takes roughly 10 seconds to detect a child. The system will also send the driver a notification on their phone if they have the car's app downloaded. Are there any shortcomings you came across? The biggest shortcomings are that the system only works once the vehicle has been locked. Hot car technology is currently a big tub because the infrastructure bill before Congress would make alert systems mandatory in all new cars. That is really what is needed to put an end to these terrible and unthinkable tragedies. Cars can be now made with a technology that's only 10 to $20 and it will save lives. Ideally, what we would love to see is that equipment like this comes standard on every vehicle so that it's not something you have to pick through you just know it's exactly coming the car. you know it should really be there you should not have to be paying extra for safety especially for your children's safety good job okay so that's hey, george good morning yeah already this year we've lost 17 kids because of this in fact it happened again just last week in pennsylvania so this morning we're getting a look at this new technology that's aimed at okay so we want to pause this now here's the story Okay, I'm, I'm glad we started out with the good news first. The good news is there is some new technology that might help with this. So now on to the article. Twin 20-month-old boys found dead inside car in the parking lot of a South Carolina daycare were likely in the hot SUV for more than nine hours, authorities say Thursday. A parent discovered the toddlers in rear-facing seat shortly after arriving around 5 40 p.m wednesday at the sunshine house early learning academy on u.s highway 21 in the columbia suburb of blythewood investigators say bryson i have a, one of my grandsons is named bryson bryson and braylon mcdaniel appeared to have been in the SUV since the morning and likely died from exposure to heat. Ruthland County Coroner Nadina Ruthland said at a news conference. Further testing will be done over the next few weeks to rule out other causes, she says. The boys appeared well taken care of and were well and were enrolled at the daycare. We have two very distraught parents, she said. Richland County officer investigating the deaths. No arrests have been made and deputies did not release other details. Um, I 
Okay, and the temperatures in Columbia were over 80 degrees Fahrenheit for the most muggy, of, for most of a muggy Wednesday in Columbia. But listen to this. The coroner did not give the names of the parents, saying she did not want to criminalize them if the case was ruled an accident and would not say where the SUV was most of the day. Um, I, I appreciate that, but I just don't know if, um, maybe the day, I thought maybe the daycare workers are the ones that left them with the SUV. Because why did they keep mentioning the daycare? I don't know. So the best thing for me to do is I'll leave the link in the article. I mean, in the description and let you guys look into this yourself. As always, I appreciate you guys. I know this is kind of long and drawn out. I didn't mean for it to be that way. But at least we did learn about the new technology, which may save a child's life. All right. I'm American Amy. I'm out. I will catch you later. Thanks. Hey guys, I just want to tell you that Tim Strait has been working on some new designs for my intro, outro. Uh, this is an outro he's working on. And he made the intro uh, I had at the beginning. Okay, have a good day. Sorry I brought you such a sad story. The link will be in the description.